All right, Rowdy Yates, High Plains Biochar. I'm here to uh, tell you guys a little bit about our decarbonizing the coffee industry project. We're uh, doing this here with Cold Creek Coffee here in Laramie, Wyoming. We're gonna be processing their coffee grounds and turning it into biochar. And uh, this is the first step in the process where we're gonna obtain the spent coffee grounds. All right, let's just change it. All right, guys, so we're, we've picked up our coffee grounds. We ended up getting, oh, like I guess around seven or eight gallons today mixed in with the coffee filter. So that's the next step in the process is we're gonna take these back to our facility and uh, show you how we process them into biochar. Okay guys, so we've got our coffee grounds. We're back from the coffee shop. We're now out here in the greenhouse where we're gonna go ahead and dry these coffee grounds out before they can be turned into biochar. So the first step that we do is we take all the filters out and we're storing those in this other bag where they get dried and then they use, get used for starting the actual fire. Um, and then what we're using to store these is pillowcases. We found that that works really well uh, to allow the moisture to leak out and for the, the drying to take place from all different directions. Okay guys, so we've got our coffee grounds here. We're gonna go ahead and put them into this uh, pillowcase here so that they can be dried out. So I just like to flip the bucket over onto the pillowcase and let's go ahead and dump out all the coffee grounds. Then what I've been doing here is I, uh, we've just been laying out the coffee grounds here on the shelf in the pillowcases and spread them out so they're flat and that way they just uh, sit out here and dry out and, until they're ready to be turned into biochar char. So right now we have, this is our old pilot unit from 2019. So people always ask me how well our equipment holds up, but this is an old one. This is not one of our new fancier machines, but right now we're running at about 650 C um, and we are processing co coffee grounds into biochar. And uh, basically we can control our speed of our augers uh, right here. And that's how our fuel is going in. We've got our fuel loaded here in this hopper. And we're going to end up processing about two months worth of coffee grounds from a small coffee shop. It'll probably take us a few hours, maybe about three or four hours, something like that. So we'll have more data on our next video, but this is just a quick one to kind of show you the process of how we're taking uh, spent coffee grounds and turning them into biochar. All right, guys, so now we're at the back of the machine. So I wanna show you guys, so this is our, the material we're starting with. This is spent coffee grounds, it's been dried out. I think we went over it in one of our earlier videos. We uh, used pillowcases to actually dry them out for our little trial here. And this is the finished coffee ground biochar. As you can see, it's really nice. Sometimes you get a few beans mixed in there and that's where you see some of the bigger pieces. Those are actually actual coffee beans that are unground. A few of the coffee shops that we get from, they actually do that. But anyhow, that shows you the process from start to finish from how we, take coffee grounds uh, and turn them into biochar. So if you know of a coffee shop or a coffee shop chain that's interested in turning their coffee grounds into biochar, please get in touch with us at High Plains Biochar. We're working with a group called Avant Delivery. And they're gonna be offering this service to coffee shops where they can come in and pick up the coffee grounds and drop them off at a local farm or other processor where these can be turned into coffee grounds. So for more information, please reach out to us. Rowdy at High Plains Biochar, thanks.